Hi Antirus Explorer Academy and welcome to the amazing Panama Canal. I'm Hugh James from Antirus and today we're going to go through a few of the, the top 10 scientific, technology, engineering and mathematical facts about this amazing canal. Now the first thing to look out for are the locks themselves. When you pull into them, you'll notice that they are huge and they're up to three football fields in length. And you go through them and up you do three on the Atlantic side and three on the Pacific side too. So then we've got the ships and the boats that move through the Panama Canal. This ship, the celebrity cruise ship, is what we call Panamax. It's 106 foot wide and the, the gates themselves and the locks are only 110 foot wide. So you've got two foot on either side of the ship. Now when you move through the locks, you'll notice that the gates open and close. There'll be sets of two to make sure that's a safety feature, to make sure that we don't crash into them and let all that water out. But those gates can weigh up to 600 tons. So the neat thing about them is that they float on the water that they're in, so it's easier to open and close them. Now the way that we get water from one bit to the next is that the, the water comes down from the Chagres River into Gatun Lake and then through gravity it's pulled down into each lock, each stage through culverts. And 26 million gallons of water will be in each of those chambers at any one time. Now it wasn't until 1988 that they actually put hydraulics onto the gates. You'll see those hydraulic arms opening the gates and closing them again. And it wasn't until 1988 that they put those in. Now there's a whole expansion project going on further across the isthmus and that'll have hydraulics there too to open all the gates. And alongside the ships, what you'll probably see are small mechanical vans. They look like vans, they're called mules. And it used to be that a mules on either side of the ships or the boats would be tied off with ropes and would help stabilize it. Now instead of using actual mules, we've got these big vans or little train sets and they cost about a million dollars each and they help stabilize the ships as we move through the canal. Now it was over a hundred years ago that they originally built the Panama Canal system and the locks at either side and the dams. And what that means is when the river comes down and floods the valley, you get a big, big man-made lake, one of the biggest in the entire world. So currently, as we're sailing across the Panama Canal, we're 85 feet above the valley floor. One of the side effects of flooding this entire valley is that it used to have jungle floor with little mountains, little valleys. You get little islands that poke their head up above the lake. And what that means is that the animals and the wildlife and the plants that are on that little island have been cut off from the rest of the mainland of the Isthmus for 100 years. Now when you travel through the Panama Canal, chances are it's going to rain. It's a very warm and tropical environment, but the dry season tends to run from about December through to April. And lastly, the best thing about Panama is the wildlife. It's one of the most biodiverse regions on the entire planet. So much so that up until 1996, it held the world record for the most bird species identified in just one day, as 357. And 125 animal species are found in Panama and nowhere else on the planet. So I hope you've enjoyed our facts about the Panama Canal. I hope you get to travel through it pretty soon. On the celebrity cruise ships, they travel through here quite a lot and make sure you try and get off and see this amazing environment.